Hey, it's Ben from Orchard. If you're selling, giving away, or trading in your iPhone, you're gonna wanna make sure you're fully signed out of iCloud and Find My iPhone is turned off. Why, you ask? Because of something called Activation Lock. This security feature keeps your iPhone linked to your Apple ID, preventing anyone from erasing your iPhone without your Apple ID or password, setting it up as a new device, or turning off Find My iPhone without authentication. So if you just erase your iPhone without doing any of these steps, the new owner won't be able to use it. Today, I'll walk you through how to properly sign out of iCloud and to remove the device from your account. If your iPhone is working, the easiest way to sign out of iCloud is right from your device. Here's how. First, open up the Settings app and tap your name at the top here. A quick troubleshooting tip, if your Apple ID name is grayed out in Settings and you can't tap it, you want to scroll down to Screen Time and then go to Content and Privacy Restrictions and turn that off. And it should pop back and you'll be able to click into it. Scroll down and tap Sign Out. Enter your Apple ID password and tap turn off to disable Find My iPhone. Choose if you want to keep a copy of any data on your phone. This only applies really if you're keeping the device. If you're selling or giving it away, you can skip this. Tap sign out, then confirm again. That's it. Your iPhone is now completely signed out of iCloud and is no longer linked to your Apple ID. Now, if you don't have your iPhone with you anymore or it won't turn on, you can still remove your iCloud account remotely using your computer. First, go to iCloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID. Click Find Device. You might be asked for a six-digit verification code. If you can't access your iPhone, you can still proceed, but with limited options. Click All Devices and select your iPhone from the list. Click Erase. This will delete all your data and restore it to factory settings, but activation lock will still be on. Just follow the on-screen prompts. After erasing though, click Remove from Account to fully unlink it from your iCloud. Now your iPhone is fully disconnected from your iCloud account and the new owner is ready to use it. Hope this was helpful. If you're ever in need of amazing pre-owned phones, visit GetOrchard.com to learn more.